Welcome back. My plutocratic friends. That's right. It's plutocracy. And I'm Orbital Potato. Right. So, at last episode, last episode was a toughie. That was a that was a really really tough episode for a variety of reasons, uh, but mostly because Mostly because uh, we ended up losing all of our money at the very last moment due to a 1.1 million dollar company fine uh, Which had absolutely nothing to do with me and had everything to do with the company So uh, in order to in order to get myself out of this little hole which I have uh, which I have dug for myself I think we are going to have to raise the Sechovia company dividends. I mean Market cap has been increasing pretty steadily. Return on investment has been increasing pretty steadily as well. Uh, the share price, look at that, plus two dollars just in the last, uh, just in the last sector, I believe, or the last quarter, I should say. Yep, share price, look at that, plus thirty-one percent. Oh, that's beautiful. Really, really is beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna increase the dividend size. I'm gonna increase the dividend size all the way up to like I don't know, a hundred percent. So that's going to put uh, dividends at 2.34 million, and because I own 52% of the stock, or 50 whatever percent, what do I own? Yeah, 52.3%. I suspect I will see, uh, you know, just a, a shade over, a shade over 1.2 million or whatever. Anyway, we still need to, we still need to squeeze Jake Cox out of, out of this, out of this company, and I'm still working on a plan to try and do it. There are two ways that we could go about doing it. One, uh, accumulating enough money. Uh, don't care. Accumulating enough money to... Did everyone abstain? Really? Okay. Uh, yeah, we can we can go we can go about it by accruing enough money to issue some more shares and then buy up all of the shares and make sure that we get all of the ones that we want to get. That might be a way to do it. Alternatively, uh, we can try and blackmail him, but I mean, we we all know how successful that actually turned out to be. Uh, as we know in the last episode, over the course of the last episode, it didn't work out super effectively. Also, let's vote for a company expansion. Why would you vote against it? Just why would you vote against it? Look at that. Loyalty to me, minus 1.53k. That's, uh, I mean, that's frankly incredible. Right. Let's increase, let's increase the number of workers that we've got, perfect, right the way up to 2.66 million. Our debt payments are, honestly, they could be lower. They could be lower, but I don't have the money, unfortunately, to bribe the treasurer. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll slow down on that for a little bit. And then we will wait and see what the next quarter brings, because I suspect it will be bringing millions and millions and millions in dividend payments. Hmm. Hmm. He's become the richest man in the USA. Right. Well, I'm not going to let that deter me, frankly. Uh, I know that he has been investing quite astutely, but I'm not going to let that I'm not going to let that stop me and I still plan to overtake him in, in, in wealth. So let's just let's just pretend like he doesn't exist anymore. Sure, that's a fairly good attitude to take. Definitely not in a state of denial, but that's okay. That's okay. Right. Uh, first of all, I've got the millions. Let's uh, let's subsidize let's subsidize the company loan by using some state funds. Fantastic. That should take our debt payments way, way down. Increase our net income by uh, by a good little bit extra. And in fact, we might even be able to take out a further loan. We totally are able to. That's grand. Okay, let's do that. When is the next time that we can vote on company expansion? It's the 15th of September. That's cool. Uh, I've got a point which I can stick into something. What do I want to stick into? Uh... Maintenance costs? Free capital adds extra income? Free capital adds extra income, sure. An extra 1.04k. That's not uh, that's not too shabby if I do say so myself. Okay. What we need to try and do is... We need to try and get to the top, but the, the wealth rating has disappeared. Always a little bit of a bummer when that happens, but that's okay. Let's unpause and let's go for it. Let's just go for it. I'm an optimist. Also, I'm not entirely sure what's happening with this train line. It's been sticking around for a little while. Arcane twerks, sure. Let's uh, let's sell up. I'm absolutely okay doing that. 
How much... How much influence do I have? Not a wholly bad amount of influence, to be honest. Turns out accruing... Accruing money... Accruing money makes people... People think more of you. Who honestly knew? Can I... Can I negotiate with any of these guys? No. Still all of the... All of their... Their influence is far too high. Which is very, very irritating because that's exactly where I want to put my money. Okay, well, let's see if we can try and invest in California. The the Ye Works company. Can I invest in... Can I invest in anyone with a substantially large stake? Sure. I could deal with you. It's not very much, though. It's not very much. I want as much money as I can possibly get. Oh, come on. Come on. Wow. Okay. I'm absolutely shocked. Let's go round two. I'm an optimist. Well, I shouldn't have been an optimist. Let's go for a third and final round. Ah, this looks good. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. All right. Absolutely fantastic price on those shares. Uh, it's only 12% of the company, but it, it gets us a foot, a foot in the door, if you'd like. The CEO leaves a little to be desired, but um, but he's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we're up to 40 influence. Nice. Okay, let's make a deal with you. Sure. I mean, I will probably just take this deal if we can get it. Oh. The chances of this deal going through, highly, highly unlikely. That's okay, though. I'm not particularly bothered about it. Let's uh, let's try and make a deal with the other dude that owns 3%. Goodness me. Diplomacy is tough. Diplomacy is real tough in California. That's for sure. Okay. An accident? Well, I mean... I, we know... I cannot... I cannot get fined... Companies find 1.65 million. That's my personal money! That you can't do that! The, you can't say the company is fined money and then find me the money. That's not how it works! That's... Oh, that is unbelievable! I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. So now my influence is down in the gutter once again. I really feel like I've been... I've, I've literally had millions and millions and millions of dollars stolen from me here. This is an absolute scandal. Right, well, let's go to the next quarter. Let's go to the next quarter so that I can complain in the next quarter. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. I cannot flip and believe it. And my competitor as well. I can't believe that he's done that fantastically. It really is, really is shocking. Uh, 62.2k. Let's participate. Ah, so, now, you can see there is a brand new... There is a brand new little little adjustment, which now means that you can see, you can see the start price and you can see the market price, which is pretty darn nice. Which means we're just not going to bid over it. I don't need to remember it anymore. Fantastic. I'm still pretty certain that uh, that the developers are planning to adjust the way that uh, the way that auctioning sort of works. I do believe that there will be a change at some point, which allows you to track the price of a product. This is just... The problem is, with bidding, is that this isn't a natural... This isn't... There's not a 30% chance that I will be successful. Uh, sure. Let's pay above... 10% above the price. I mean, I want to... I want to sign this deal. It's very rare that I... That I will offer to pay a higher price than what I have to. But I will... I will do it on this occasion. Sure. Go for it. Fantastic. Easy as that, eh? Easy as that. Anyway, yes, I will, I will on this occasion, I will on this occasion vote to try and, vote to try and increase, vote to try and increase, uh, my, my friendliness with, uh, with Chase Lopez in order to get that done. Fine. I need to, I need to keep my eye on the ball in Illinois. Sechovia is doing nicely, but now that I'm taking literally all of the dividends out of the company, reserve 4.2 million in reserve? How is that possible? How is that possible? How do we have 4.2 million in reserve? I... 
thought that I was spending everything on dividends. Right, can I take out another loan? I cannot take out another loan. Uh, what I can do, though, is vote in a company expansion. Why would everyone vote against me? I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, I get it. Everyone hates me. Look, I, I gotta be real with you guys. Sometimes even I hate myself, right? But this is, this is money for everyone. It's money for free. Why does no one, why does no one like me? Why is this, why is this such a miserable, miserable company? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Right, well, that's gonna mean... Sure, I'll agree with it. And it gets unbelievably rejected. Right, fantastic. Um, cool, I guess. I, I kind of want to go back to... I kind of want to go back to Illinois, to be honest with you. But I feel like I need to just... I need to sew this deal up. I need to sew this, de sew this deal up. The, the Ye Works deal. I want to become the majority shareholder in this company. And... The only way that I'm apparently going to be able to do that is by sticking around in California for a little bit and uh, and hoping beyond hope that some people sell me some more flipping shares in this uh, in this company. I also need to increase my influence ever so slightly. Who is the who's the big Kahuna here? It's this dude. It's it's this dude right over right over yonder, Chase Lopez. Can I use an agent on you? I think I probably should. Right. Sure, let's go for that, and then maybe use another agent. I can't fulfill your ambition, unfortunately. I wish I could. I wish, wish, wish I could, but alas, my friend, I cannot. There we go. Okay, once we get Yee Works, things will, things will start happening. This looks like it's going to be a success. Perfect. I love a I love a good success. Required influence points by down by minus fifty percent. That's not minus fifty percent, I do believe. Character loyalty plus thirty percent. Yeah. So if only we could make him like me a little bit more. Well, I'll see if I can get. You want to buy in Tramba shares? Sure. I honestly do not care. I don't care about anything except Sachovia and Yi Works. That's what it's all about. You know what? You know what I've just realized? I still can technically check my wealth against Jack Bryant. So that's kind of nice. Also, I didn't realize, but I did... The whole reason that I was being, you know, as apprehensive as I was being about... Uh, whatever his name is, Jake Cox. You know Jake Cox, the guy from, the guy from Illinois? The Illinois boy? That's right. This guy. The whole reason that I was being so apprehensive about this is because he's my enemy, right? So surely, if he gets to the number one spot in the world as well, that is equally problematic for me. Doesn't matter if it's Jack Bryant or if it's Jake Cox, because he's just my enemy, and apparently there is no way... There's no way... Once once they're an enemy, there is no way of, of, of un-enemyifying them. That is a technical term, and I will, I will not have... I will not have anything said against it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is great news. This is fantastic news. What's happened? What what has happened to I've just I've just got more assets apparently. So I just got more influence. Well, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh 47% stake. I think we can make a deal. I think we can make a deal and I will make a deal with you for absolutely everything. Oh, this looks like an insta failure. Oh, it's not by the slightest of margins. My diplomacy rating is higher than your diplomacy rating. This looks like a fail, though, because sometimes you can just tell that the needle is just creeping around super, super slowly. Yeah, and now, would you look at that? He's, uh, he's, he's popped right back up. I would like to use Polly Adler again, please. No guarantee that it'll be a success yet again, but uh, hey-ho. We gotta try, right? Abstain, don't care about that. Uh, let's just try and negotiate with all of the smaller parties. I want to take 100% control of this company. 100% control of this company would stand me in good stead. Uh, means that I won't have to deal with anyone else. Won't have to deal with enriching anyone else whilst I'm trying to, you know, make money for my own nefarious means. I mean, make money for my own philanthropic means. 123k, sure. Annabelle Gonzalez. I'm pretty sure we've dealt before. That's okay. It's not an insta-failure, which is great. 
This, however. Oh, God. Why? It really doesn't feel. It really doesn't feel like a like a 30% chance or whatever the whatever the success chance actually shows as. It really doesn't feel like that's what it is. Sometimes the needle goes fast, and if the needle goes fast, then you know what? You're uh, you're in for a win. If not, you're just in trouble. You're just in trouble. Right, hopefully Polly Adler's a success. If she's not, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to factor in something else to our equation. Why are you charging me more? I mean, to be honest, I, I don't actually care. I'll pay any price. I will pay quite literally any price. Sure. Let's increase the chance of the deal by 1%, even though I think it's gonna have minimal impact. Uh, sure, let's leave it at zero. Uh, this actually looks not too bad. Wow, that's that is that is shocking. We do pay a little bit more than uh, than we did need to, but that's okay. I'm accruing a fairly large share in the company now, which is pretty darn good. An 18% increase in the price of the shares. Wow, I think this will be a win actually. Hey, great stuff. Okay, it's only a little extra 3% stake, but uh, but that takes us up to 40%. That is not that is not half bad. Uh, can we use a Polly Adler on you? She's currently occupied, of course. How could I be so silly? Uh, this looks mediocre. That's not too bad. Fantastic. Great stuff. Right, Polly Adler, get in bed. No contact with the agent. Uh-oh, we need to fulfill some more ambitions. That's a little bit irritating. May the 6th. Ah, yes. Oh my goodness. I... Uh, I I, I, I can't... I cannot deal with this. Help the victims. I'm not fine for it. I'm not... It's... It's not coming out of my paycheck? Oh my god, this is great news. This is great news. Oh, fantastic. That's great. That's that's wonderful. Okay, well, let's buy the 47% stake from this chap here. This cheeky chappy. Uh, not a chance. You want to buy... You want to buy a 40% stake? And you want to buy it at a at a uh, at a price that is less than the market that is not something that i'm willing to countenance no siree get out of here get out of here also i want to start buying some houses i haven't actually bought many houses this game in fact i don't think i bought a single house over the course of this entire game but that's okay hey 10 million net worth grand wonderful 36 days why are you so unavailable it's pretty pretty irritating to be honest Pretty darned irritating. Can I fulfill anyone's ambition? I don't think so. Not not at the moment. Uh, need less influence points to start negotiating. Let's take psychology. Absolutely. Let's do that. And then let's go to the map. Uh, I do want to travel back to Illinois. Hold on. I should keep an eye out for these... Pinkdale. I should keep an eye out for these, uh, for these deals that go on on the map. But... I can influence pretty much everyone in the company, but I can't obviously fulfill the ambition because I'm in another state. Can I not hire somebody to go uh, to go back to the to the home state? Is that not a thing that could happen? You want to buy Arcane Twerks? Sure, I'll take that. Free up a little bit of extra capital. Look, just let me get this Ye Works deal done, and then and then I'll go home. Fantastic. Right. This is it. This is the time. Let's get Ye Works over the line. Let's buy his entire stake. It's only going to cost us 1.6 million. Uh, which, of course, means that any cost saving that I can make will be... Oh. I've got to take it. I've got to take it. Look, i, I, I got to take it. It ends up... I end up saving myself, uh, you know, a good couple of grand. Fantastic. End up with a brand new company with some new tech, apparently. Uh, I am pretty much the exclusive owner at 87%. I want to try and now buy this guy's stake, so I become a 100% owner. I will pay whatever the price. Turns out I don't have to. I'll just take that deal. Fantastic! Okay, and now I have 100% control of this company. So, 
Let me see if I can change the CEO, see if I can find somebody a little bit better. Oh, I can indeed. Sophia Johnson. I, I don't really care that you don't like me. In fact, I couldn't really care less. Right, debt payments are zero. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that is that is delightful. That is really, really good news. Okay, dividend size. Uh, dividend size, I'm going to pull down to 50%. In fact, you know what? I'm going to pull it right down to zero. I'm going to keep myself invested in Sechovia. I'm also going to move us... Move the CEO to working on stuff which is actually going to increase our baseline revenue workers great what do we have in reserves at the moment nothing in reserves however i can take out a loan I can take out a nine hundred thousand loan which i absolutely will do i might want to consider getting subsidies but uh but i'm not super worried about that for now company expansion we really don't need to have a vote if it's just me sitting around a table talking to myself doesn't really seem like there's much point and then increase the number of workers. That will bring in yet more money, which is fantastic. This is going to be my vehicle for growth. This is going to be my vehicle for growth. This is fantastic. Right. So, let's go and see what we've got. Planning. Decrease the number of days to start negotiating with somebody. Boost your influence in making deals. Valuation. Reduce agent's price after each use. Tax base reduction. Let's take that. Sure. Well, hey, wealth top 100. Well, I'm glad that... I'm glad that still that's possible to to see what's going on. Let me see if I can participate in an auction. I will indeed. I kind of want to be participating in absolutely every auction, up to, of course, the market price, which is kind of irrelevant because the market price can change and will change, but that's okay. Right, I'm not going to go any higher. I am going to go higher. Illuminate cigar. Okay, this is ridiculous. No, I'm not. I'm not going higher than that. I'm afraid. I I, I simply cannot do it. Okay, so we're on 14 million net worth. My uh, my opponent, who is the richest man in the world, the richest man in the country. Void works. Yeah, he owns. He owns this 100. percent What's his? Wow, he's about to become a billionaire. That is that is actually unbelievable. That is actually un totally unbelievable. In fact, absolutely unbelievable. I'm still going to overtake him. I'm still reasonably confident. I just need to make sure that I uh, that I keep up the spending spree. Right. Is there anything else that we can buy? We can buy here. What I would kind of like to do is I'd like to find a small company with a few shareholders. And ideally one that has a fairly small market cap as well. Gnomeworth. Okay. Gnomeworth we can pretty much buy over, I would suggest, right now. I can fulfill your ambition as well. Yeah. Absolutely. I can fulfill your ambition too. Don't mind me. And let's make a deal. Let's make a deal for whatever you've got. I'll take I'll take what you're selling. All right. Sign on the dotted line, get that dealt with. Grand. Fantastic. Influence top rating, wonderful. Uh, so that immediately gives me a 46% share. Let's, let's go in again. Let's go in again. I will, hopefully, if I make this deal, I will have an 88% share, which is not bad. Although, looks like this deal is going to be an insta-failure. An insta-failure is the worst type of failure for a variety of reasons, but mostly just because it's a little bit embarrassing. And it does feel a little bit unfair. This looks like it will be an insta-success. It is an insta-success. Predicted correctly. Wonderful. And now I've I've got majority majority stake in another company. Wonderful. Uh, Jason Griffin, sure. I'll buy your 1% stake for a paltry 21k. Do I really care about it? Not really. Looks like it's gonna be an insta success though. And I love a I love a success story. Love a success story. Great. Get that squirreled away. And let's see what we can increase over here. Reduces players' maintenance costs? Eh. I'll take evaluation again. Yeah, not entirely sure that I really care about any points. Uh, what I perhaps should be considering more than I am is that whenever I complete, like, a tech tree, like the investment tech tree or the etiquette tech tree or the loans tech tree, I get another point. Current effect, corruption exposure risk is minus 4%. I don't... 
really know if that's important. I mean, I kind of, I think I know where that is used. I believe when you're trying to bribe the, the governor or the treasurer of a state, I suspect that that is what the, the corruption exposure risk actually is. Diplomacy, however, and economics are both, are both useful. And we know they're useful. So, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and make, we'll try and make, uh, make some more complete tech trees fairly soon. Right. This is looking good. It's feeling good. It's feeling, it's feeling smooth. It's feeling reasonably succinct. Our net worth is increasing very, very rapidly. Okay. Let's, uh, let's buy this guy out of a steak. And I don't mean... I don't mean the height of a cow. I mean... An $874,000 deal to buy 100% stake in this company. Right. Uh, this CEO actually not completely trash. Although, if there is someone better, I'll, uh, I'll take him. Uh, sure. You've got the job. Congratulations. Can I fulfill your ambition now? I can indeed. And I make you just a little bit happier with me. Well, hey, completed ambitions is now at 50%. Fantastic. Uh, so, what are the stats on this company? Debt payments at zero. Not too bad. Our expenses are pretty darned large, though. Why is that the case? Yeah, not entirely sure how it says we're making such a catastrophic loss. And our loss is just increasing? What the heck? Where are our expenses going? Raw materials purchase. Production volume. Logistics costs? Okay. Not entirely sure how that works, but okay. Uh, yeah, let's move this over here. Does that make any difference? I mean, we, we don't need to increase our investment attractiveness. We're still making a ridiculous loss. Wow. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know what the logistics does, but we are apparently spending a heck of a lot on it. Dividend size. Uh, let's take down to zero. Well, first of all, because I'm not actually making any money whatsoever. Uh, which is a little bit of a problem. Let's hopefully see if this company can turn itself around. Uh, let me go back and see if we can grow Yeeworks just a little bit. Because I do believe that we should now have built up a, yep, a sizable reserve pile, which is wonderful. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the way that we, the way that we, uh, the way that we expand. Ignore. I don't even care. Not even interested. Let's complete evaluation. Sure. Complete evaluation for the sake of getting an extra, an extra pip. An extra pip in, uh, in economics. Wonderful. Right, now let's have a little look at Illinois. Sechovia. My original company. The company wants to buy Valkyrie Records? Sure. I can quite happily do that. Uh, yes, so the original company that I initially got interested in. Players in another state. Players in another state. Yeah, we're going to need to travel back. And I think that now is the time to do that. It's time to go to Illinois. And I would be willing to wager that the train comes off the rails. I, I don't mean, like, in any sort of metaphorical sense. I mean, I mean literally. Because that's just the way that, uh, the, the way that these things tend to work. I'm gonna threaten. Why? Uh, no reason, really. I don't really get the point. I just ignore, honestly. And what do I want to do? Let's get another pip in economics. I'm not really bothered about the consequences of getting the, the level three of finances. It's just, you know, important to, to get done. Was there something else I needed to do in California before I left? Not particularly, I don't think. I do need to keep an eye, well, not on Yeeworks, but I just need to keep an eye on, uh, whatever the name of the other company is. I don't even, I don't even know what it's, what it's called. Uh, but anyway, let's increase the number of workers in this company, take our net worth, uh, take our net worth, take our net income up to something ludicrous. 
There we go. As the game freezes, as it adjusts all of the figures at the same time. That's fine. Uh, Gnomeworth. Yeah, that's the name of the company. Profitability is in a pretty bad place at the moment. Net income is technically increasing, or it's becoming less negative. Which is not bad. Ooh, fantastic. We're now in... We're now in Illinois. Could I become the majority stakeholder in near reductions? I do believe I could, with relative ease, in fact, because one of the people owns a 94% stake. Oh, fantastic. If we can make this deal, then this is potentially the deal of the century. It's the deal of the century. Maybe the deal of the millennium. Minus 14% to the share price. Man, I you got you got a rough deal, that's for sure. You got a really, really, really rough deal. All your oil production companies will get the following technologies. Yeah, I still don't understand the whole way that technologies work. Debt payments. Am I making debt payments at the moment? No, not making debt payments. My loan rate is kind of irrelevant. So, okay, first things first. I'm a realist. Let's change the CEO and get somebody in who is actually not complete garbagery. Uh, I would like you. Sure. Congratulations. Welcome on board. And let's put yeah okay fine uh workers extra workers what's the what's the expenses issue logistics costs again not entirely sure what the issue is with the logistics costs i know that in the most recent patch there was a little bug with the logistics pricing but i have come to realize that that might still be be in the game, even though technically it's uh, it was supposedly fixed. Right, I've added a 19% premium to the price of the shares. I'm going to continue pushing up the price, primarily because I just care about making the deal. Turns out, I shouldn't have worried. I shouldn't have worried. I ended up paying 23k as opposed to 21k. I think I can just about live with that. Right, Sechovia. Sechovia is the big one. How much is this company actually worth? Oh, there is no way that I'm going to be able to buy Jake out. And I'm also not going to be able to buy him out because he's seriously hostile. Like, not even slightly hostile. Just like a seriously hostile individual. Like his life's ethos is to oppose all that I stand for. Uh, no matter. No matter at all. That's fine. What's his net worth? His wealth is... His income is 2.15. His wealth is 4 point, uh, 43 point something something. How much cash has he got in his hand? He's got 29 million in cash. Now, I don't know if, like, opposing people spend their cash. Like, uh, like AI spend their cash. I know, you know, Jack Bryant, my, my ultimate enemy, presumably spends his cash. But Jake Cox needs to spend his cash because otherwise it's it's not wise for me to issue a... Uh, a share split or whatever it is, a share issue, yeah. I don't want to lose control of my company. And if he's got 29 million literally sitting in the bank, then that is going to be a colossal problem for me. Anyway, let me take a little look at my, my companies in California, see if we're actually making money. We're still losing a heck of a lot. And I just don't understand. I don't understand. I do not understand how it's possible to lose this much money. I think this must be a bug, right? This must be a bug. Yeah, I, I I just don't I just don't know. Raw materials purchase. Maybe I put someone into raw materials purchase. Yeah, put somebody into raw materials purchase. We might be able to turn a profit. And Ye works, Ye works is fine, isn't it? Yeah, Uworks is fine. Uworks is making, I mean, mega money. Mega, mega money. In fact, we're gonna, we're gonna company expand probably at the start of the next quarter. Can I take out another loan? I can take out a huge loan. Absolutely gargantuan loan. Okay, my debt payments do increase dramatically, but just wait until I expand the company. Oh boy, I mean, we've got 13 million in reserves, which we are going to spend entirely on expanding the company. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. This is going to be the greatest. Um, help victims. 
was that this company? I, I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. I think it was uh, Sechovia in, uh, in Illinois. You want to buy Sechovia's shares? No. Are you kidding me? Even though that technically would net me a, uh, a good profit, because I bought the Sechovia shares, obviously, at, uh, at a way, 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 way lower price when the... When the price was super, super low. Ah, uh, 3rd of... 3rd of December before we can company expand. Well, let's company expand over here. Ye works. More like yeet works, am I right? Nope, just me. Right. So let's increase the number of workers. If the game crashes here, I want to I want it to be known that I should not be held responsible. Yeah, those numbers, those invisible numbers that you see floating at the bottom of the screen, uh, you know, the, the ones that are appearing down here, they're, they're slow for me too. So don't worry about it. Anyway, so that's going to be a 13, a 13 million, a 13 million dollar net income next, uh, next quarter, which is fantastic. And that includes a 1.7, a 1.79 million debt payment, which is, I mean, quite frankly, ridiculous. Now... Could I, could I friend the, the senator? Can I do that from another state? Is that possible? The governor even? No. I cannot. I cannot do that. It's another state. That's fine. I, I could go back. Uh, a yacht. I can't even participate in that because I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to. That's a, that's a crying shame. A totally, totally, totally crying shame. Uh, alcohol, booze, ah, well, not really that interested, to be honest. Not really that interested, not interested even slightly. Right, what is the next objective? Because I always need to be looking ahead. What is the goal? What is the aim of the game? What do we need to do? Influence top rating, three out of, three out of what? I'm almost at the top of the influence table? Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. Can I complete any other tech trees right now? Uh, no. Psychology, even though that's going to become absolutely unnecessary at some point. I'm at 70, 79, 79 million. Near reductions. Near reductions still, by the way, making absolutely no money. I do think that I might be able to make it profitable at some point, but it'll never be profitable like, well, Sechovia, for example, and it'll never be profitable like anything else. Debt payments is 1.21 million. Now, I can just get subsidies, can't I? There we go. I can just bribe you. Simple as that. Simple as that. And that will increase our... Yeah, that will increase our income by, uh, like, a million. That is ridiculous. It's just so easy. So easy. Uh, I would love to start negotiating with you. I will pay absolutely any price. This has got to be a success. I say it's got to be a success. That is an absolute steal. That is an absolute steal. Right, I mean, can I make you my friend? Not really. Not, not really at all. My wealth is now larger than your wealth, though. However, I do suspect that you probably still have 29 million in cash on hand. Yeah, you've got 33 million now, which makes it very, very, very challenging to ever do... A, uh, a stock, a stock split. No. Why would I do that? That's not happening. That's not happening at all. Uh, near reductions, yeah, honestly, probably don't even need to worry about that. Dagwood, how is Dagwood doing? Man, I haven't, I haven't thought about Dagwood in ages. I mean, I can negotiate, but thing is, is that they are, they are making a heck of a lot of money. Yeah, they're making some real money. Okay, um... Is Dagwood, uh... Dagwood's oil refining. I could get into the oil refining game. Maybe I already have an oil refining company. I, I don't actually know. I do actually already have an oil refining company. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe we'll see if we can... We can grow this company. Maybe that's why the logistics costs are so... Mahusive. Is it because of the... The ridiculousness with competing against a massive oil production company or refining company? I don't actually know. That's just a guess, really. Right, how are we doing over here? 15 million in reserves. Ye works. Ye flippin' works. Oh, it's good. It's good. 
Skill Grants is not re uh, researched. I could indeed research the Grants skill. That would be pretty darn nice. That's a house, by the way. It's a cottage. Just a regular cottage. Which I cannot participate in, for whatever reason. Unless... Unless I see if I can borrow some money from somebody. Uh, I mean, does anyone like me? Is a question that I ask myself a lot. Can I fulfill anyone's ambition? I can fulfill your ambition. Except I cannot. I don't have any allies. I've made a heck of a lot of enemies. And not many people in this company. Uh, in this country. In this company. In this, uh, in this state. Yeah, you're in another state. You know, some people want houses. I just don't understand how that's even possible. Sure. I will pay through the teeth. Fulfill your ambition. There we go. I'm just losing money thick and fast here, but it'll be worth it, right? I hope. Lots of players in another state. Uh, you want to buy Neuroductions from Illinois? Uh, I mean, sure. It's, I mean, that basically costs me nothing to do, so I might as well, right? I think I should start giving, you know, giving stuff away for free a lot more, a lot more liberally here. You want to buy Sechovia's shares from me? Absolutely not, I'm afraid. You want to sell, but you're in another state, another state, another state. You want to buy Sechovia's shares? Unfortunately, not willing to do that. I tell you what, maybe I want to go back to California, honestly. California is apparently where everyone is willing to, is willing to sell. Sechovia, everyone wants Sechovia because, I mean, it is the best company in the world. Bar none. I will refuse to hear anything against it. Want to sell Opalopalopodis? Lopodis? Sure. I will do that. I will buy, I will buy Opalises. This is Yeeworks. Why am I in Yeeworks' menu? I just bought... I just bought another company. I don't, I don't know how much... What, what's... Opolis. It's a 2% stake. I'm really... I'm not that bothered, to be honest, about a 2% stake. But the company is worth a little bit too much money for me to be concerned with. Ooh. One point... I, you know what? I will actually pay literally anything for a two-story simple house. I don't know why it costs a million. Also, I don't know why houses are rarely on the market. Wow, that was pretty unexpected. I tell you what, though, that's good news for me because now that will sit in my por uh, in my property portfolio and it will give me 6k profit per quarter. And also the fact that I can sell it off at a higher price at some point later, which is great. Help victims. That... My, 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 my money just disappeared. Well, my wealth just disappeared, which presumably means that that did actually come from the company pot. So at least that's a step in the right direction, right? Okay, an extra five million. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is this is looking and feeling pretty darned, pretty darned juicy. You know, one of these days, one of these days, character's not interested in selling recently purchased shares. That's garbage. You want to buy Sechovia? No. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I... Did I sell you Neuroductions? Whoops, I didn't realize that I actually owned that company outright. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Okay, let me have a quick little look. Let me see what I actually own, just briefly. Uh, Gnomeworth. How is Gnomeworth doing? I think the... the I mean... This is one of the ones that has... Yeah, had rather dodgy finances. In the nicest of, 
in the nicest of uh, of ways they've they've had pretty dodgy finances however we're we're getting close to turning a profit uh, at uh, at at the place at uh, near reductions we just had a little look at near reductions there's no income there uh opalopidus where the heck where the heck is Sechovia? Where is... Where is Sechovia? I still... What? It's in... Illinois? What? 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 What happened to Sechovia? It is in Illinois, right? It doesn't exist on my books anymore. It has disappeared from reality? What? I've still got Ye Works. Yeah, yeah, I've still got Ye Works. Ye Works has got a heck of a lot of money here. Hold up. If Ye Works is like oil production, if Ye Works is oil production, what? Well, let me see if I can find Jake Cox. See what it shows up in his ledger as. Did my companies like automatically combine into the bigger YeWorks company? Because it doesn't look like I've lost any net worth. At all. Uh, where am I looking for? Yeah, connections, go to enemies, go to Jake Cox, who I know had a massive stake in... In... He's got nothing. He's got nothing. He's got no shares. He's got 51 million cash on hand. He's got a tiny little bit of uh, of property. Do you feel a crash inbound? I I feel a I feel like a game crash is inbound. So has he completely, like, just lost everything? So. So Jake. Jake over here, right? Let's have a little look. So let's see what happens. So he's got a 33.3 million balance will that adjust itself or will it just continue or will it just continue to exist as 33.3 million near reductions uh no sorry i didn't realize that i'd sold off near reductions but i'm not selling to anyone uh yeah so let's keep uh let's keep a rough track on that i'll i'll come back to it so 33.3 million remember that figure it's very very important uh, what else was I going to do? I was going to... Oh, yes. I was going to expand YeWorks. That's for sure. I don't want to... Well, I say that I don't want to expand it to become too big a company, just in case it stops existing. I've got 36 million in reserves. Can I take out more money? Oh, I can. I can. So that should take my reserve up to 72 million, which is wonderful. Let's company expand. Workplaces. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's got to be done, I'm afraid. It's got to be done. We got to take... We got to take the number of workers right the way up to... Right the way up to 1,791. And each and every time that I click this button, it does increase my net worth by a substantial amount. So if you look at my net worth just over here, you can see that it's increasing by like 70k a click, give or take, because the net income is predicted to be much larger. Right. Now, this is a problem because I, I physically cannot click that fast. So I am... The game has now stopped registering the clicks. I'm pressing both mouse buttons at the exact same time to try and get as many clicks uh, into the game as possible. Okay. This is... This is uncomfortable. I feel like... I feel like we're close to a crash. Is that going to stop me? No. No. For entertainment purposes only, I will push through. Alright, we're about halfway there. Can you believe that? Halfway there. What, what's wrong with a slider? What's wrong with a worker's slider? If we're gonna get a slider for uh, company expansion and workplaces, why can't we get a slider for workers? That does seem a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so just this turn, I think my net worth is increased by something like 40, 40 million. It'll probably be closer to 50 or maybe even 60 million by the time that we're done with this with this expansion here. 
I still have no idea what happened to uh, Sechovia, though. That 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 is a mystery, a true, true, true mystery, and I would love to know, honestly, absolutely love to know. Okay, this is great. I think honestly, this company is kind of large enough at the moment for me to, you know, not worry about doing this whole, you know, adding. 500,000 million extra workers each and every each and every turn. So for that reason, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put dividend size up to 100% so that I never ever have to do this again. Getting 40 million a turn, which is exactly what I'll be getting, probably even 50 million a turn by the time that I'm finished clicking this flipping button. Getting um getting 50 million a turn honestly will be really really nice and should propel me very much to become the wealthiest man in the world very very quickly indeed now most of my most of my income is going on taxes i say taxes i also suspect it'll be debt payments as well so what it might be worth me doing yeah nine point something million in debt payments dividend size let's bump that up to 100 percent grand so i increased my net worth by about 70 million there over the course of that turn wonderful just wonderful let's put you into 49 million, 48 million, 53 million, or 50.3 million. Let's 50.3 million, sure. Fifty point four million. Sure, that's that sounds that sounds good. Uh let me go and see what points we can do. Psychology, grand cash flow generator. It's it's a free point. I'll take it. Right, so that's gonna be it's gonna be a predicted income of forty million next turn, which is just fantastic. It's just phenomenal. Uh, Jack, I don't know how long you think you've got left in the number one in the number one space, but uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm coming for you. I am coming for you very, very, very quickly. That's right. Uh, what was I gonna do? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, next quarter. Let's go to the next quarter. Also, I want to save. I want to save. I feel like. I feel like if ever the game is going to crash, it's going to be now. So let's let's bring out the tried and tested naming scheme as well. Not 54, number 5. Sure. Bring out the tried and tested naming scheme. Click the save button. Click the continue button. And uh, and continue on with all the haste. Uh, sure. Jack Bryant wants to increase the dividend size. Sure. If you want to do that, Jack, then I'm I'm perfectly happy to make that uh, to make that happen. Right. So let's see if Sechovia has appeared on my balance sheet again. Nah, it has not. Near reductions. Still interested, honestly. You want to gain? I want to buy Sechovia's shares from you. Um. Honestly, sure. I'll do that. So where does it say that you own Sechovia now? No. You don't actually own Sechovia. Okay, so Sechovia exists, but it doesn't actually exist. That is so strange. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, maybe it'll appear next quarter. I don't actually know. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's see what happens. Goodness gracious me. What a, what a weird and wonderful world, eh? Say what? That's right. That's right. The number one most influential chap in the entire world. Can I borrow money from you? How much money have you got to offer? Not very much, honestly. You give me... You give me some cash? Nah, not interested. In the past few days, I've heard a lot about you. Sure, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I do want to try and make a deal with you, but unfortunately that's not going to be possible. Let me stick another couple of points into bookkeeping. Plus one million. Wow, that's that's some real tax dodging right there. Uh, let me participate in this, in this bid, in this auction even. This bid in this auction. Hurrah, wonderful. 
Great. As you can see, the, the speed of auctions was greatly increased in the latest patch. Uh, okay, so let's see if Sechovia has returned. It has not. It still doesn't exist. It still doesn't exist, and I still don't know what the heck is up with that. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. Yeeworks does still exist, which is wonderful. Very, very happy with that. Gnomeworth is Gnomeworth profitable. It is still unprofitable. I, I frankly do not think that the company will ever be profitable. Sure, I'll take a massive hulking loan, and then I'm going to increase the number of workspaces by having a vote with myself sitting around a table, raising my hand, double the number of workspaces, give or take, and increase the number of workers. I mean, if this doesn't make us money, this is actually making us less money. Can you believe that? Yeah, this is actually, this is actually legitimately making us less money. That is, that is ridiculous. Let me put dividends up to 100%, not like it particularly matters. Debt payments are now through the roof. Uh, that's a bug. That is that is absolutely a bug. I'm afraid there is nothing that I can do about that. So, Gnomeworth is just a write-off. Right, if anyone wants to buy Gnomeworth, I'm going to give it to them. What's the wealthiest company in the world, by the way? I need to find that out. Also... Even though I did say that I didn't want to click the button a million times to, to try and increase the uh, to try and to try and increase the number of workers, if I can take out a loan, which I cannot, I cannot do, then that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, skill grants has not been researched. Let's get grants. Let's get grants, and then let's see if we can try and let's see if we can try and snuggle up to the governor. You want to buy trophies? Do I have any trophies to to give you? Maybe, but we're going to have to make the commute over to California. I mean, look, it's a price that I have to be willing to pay. Let's be real, the growth is all going to be in California. It, there ain't going to be much in Illinois. I should be participating in absolutely every auction, like bar none. I have the money to buy, almost without exception, absolutely every single auction item. And uh, if I do that, then that means that I can use it to leverage, to leverage uh, people. Leverage ambitions. I don't care. Oh yeah, this is the one that Jack Bryant's uh, competing with me against. That's fine. Okay. Well, my wealth is you know two hundred thirty-four million. It's it's a decent it's a decent amount. You want to buy Gnomeworth shares? Um. Honestly, yeah. I will give you Gnomeworth shares because they are. I mean, absolutely worthless. I mean, I don't even mean absolutely worthless. I mean, they are... They are like toilet paper. They are so unbelievably bad. And I shouldn't... I shouldn't have them. I should... I should get rid of them as quickly as I possibly can. But there you go. Anyway, uh, we might be able to buy... We might be able to buy up a, a few more companies, actually. Yeah, give me a company that is actually profitable. Yeah, look at this. So I, I suspect that all of these companies that are massively, chronically unpop, uh, unprofitable, I reckon it's all due to the logistics bug and the fact that logistics is just costing a heck of a lot of money. Right, now I think I should be able to... I want to get shares from a producing company. Gnomeworth? No, you want to buy Yeeworks. Well, that ain't happening, I'm afraid, buddy. You want to buy alcohol slash tobacco? Uh... Do I want to just give this away to you for free? I kind of do, to be honest. Kind of do. Right, now let's see if we can try and make a deal with, uh, with the majority shareholder of this company. Looks... Oh, looks okay. Oh, if we can make this. I think we can. Oh, we totally can. Minus 19% for the share price. I mean, that's a, that's basically 20%. That's basically 20%. Now we own 37% of the company or whatever. Uh, let me... Oh, this is the this is the person that I sold the... the Or I gave the half a million pound... Or half a million dollar bottle of wine. I guess it was worth it. I guess it was absolutely worth it. Cool. All right, great. Let's just go through everyone and see if we can see if we can buy the entire company over the course of one turn. Oh, that's a that is a great diplomatic option. Nice. 
Fantastic. Am I literally gonna take over a company from zero to a hundred over the course of a turn? Well, well yes, I, I do believe so. And this is actually a company which I know to be profitable. Oh. It was going so well. Uh, sure. This could still be a failure. Basically was a failure. I think this might be a failure. Yep. Goodness gracious me. Okay, and then, uh, and then you. Sure. Plus 13% chance to the success of the deal. Let's do it. Grand. Just get it done. Uh, we control the company 84%, as you know. Why is it going to take a ridiculously long time to enter into negotiations with you again? Oh, this looks like it might be a success first time around. I'm going to go round two. I want to go all the way here. Oh, come on. I swear that needle slowed down. I swear it started to slow down. I, I, I promise you. I promise you. I'm not making it up. It looked like it was slowing down. Right. I will not, I will not bite off more than I can chew this time. I mean, already this looks like I'm biting off more than I can chew, doesn't it? I mean, the chances of success are so horrifically slim. Oh! Oh, what do you know? Oh, that is, that is, oh, that is gorgeous. Well, you got absolutely ruined, my friend. I'm very, very sorry to report, but it's true. Uh, you got, you got destroyed. Negotiations. It's my middle name. That's right. It's Orbital Negotiations Potato. If you didn't know that, look it up. Read a book. It's there. Easy peasy. Grandfather clock. Wonderful. Don't mind if I do. Uh, 1.8k influence and 22.2 million in, uh, in cash. Still to spend over the course of this quarter. That is a little bit ridiculous. All right. 81 million. 81 million income. Or 81 million cash in hand, which is wonderful. Uh, Astro Jojo. Let me see if I can try and change the CEO. Anyone with, uh, with a double five-star rating? No. Ian Garcia, you're the closest thing that we've got to somebody that knows what they're, knows what they're doing. Debt payments. Any debt payments? No, no debt payments at the moment. Seven something million in reserves. Uh, let me company expand. Oh, that's right. I don't care what you say. Sorry, buddy. Right. Ooh, I tell you what I could do. Right, so Luke Simmons, how much... How much are you worth? See this? How much cash does he have on hand? Assets, cash on hand. Right, so, what I can do... What I can very sneakily do... Is two things. So, first of all... The dividend, the dividend size is going to be dropped to zero. So, what that means... Is that the company will continue to make... A ridiculously large amount of money right and in fact the company can increase the number of workers as well up to 175 right I don't want to leave the dividends at 0% for too long but uh, you'll see my plan in just a second I'm going to squeeze someone out of my company this is the plan so the the company net worth next turn will will increase. Look, it's it's due to well, it will increase by a lot more than that, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, anyway, point is that he's only got two million cash on hand, and it's not going to grow any larger because presumably he's only invested in this one company. Yeah, he's only invested in Astroyo or whatever, whatever, whatever it's even whatever it's even called. Doesn't particularly matter. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use that to, uh, we're going to use that, that cash to our advantage, or that lack of cash to our advantage. And we're going to issue, issue some shares, and we're going to be able to buy out, hopefully, more shares than he is able to. Yan Vemer, girl with pearl earring. Alright, 
cool. I've never heard of it. I presume it's a pretty important photograph. I mean painting, not a photograph. <laughs> That's right. I'll pay. I'll pay anything for it. Okay. Should we try? Should we try? Oh, we need to try and meet this guy's ambition. Actually, what is your ambition? Your ambition is to buy trophies. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any trophies to sell. I'd say what I could do though. I could just go through my connections, and see if uh, see if we got anything. You're another state. Another state. You're another state. Is everyone in another state? Is it like when I go to the when I go to the other state? Oh, fantastic. Sure. You know what? I'll just give you a free 2 million dollar portrait. Uh, I'm not actually particularly bothered about it. Right. You want to buy Gnomeworth? Oh my goodness. Yes, I want to sell you all of Gnomeworth. Gnomeworth is garbage. Gnomeworth is hot garbage. There we go. Fantastic. Honestly, if I could just give away all of my... All of my, uh, my trophies, that would be fine. Sure. Nine million. I might try and recoup a little bit of that, because, I mean, 9 million is... It's a fairly large amount of money, as, as money goes. Oh, we could make a, a tidy little profit on this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to worry about it. Not even going to worry about it slightly. Uh, houses. I'm not interested in selling the house. I want to keep the house for a while. Players in another state. Players in another state. Cool. And you. Sure. To be honest, the agents are much more important than the tiny little bit amount of money that I'm losing. Another state. Another state. Another state. Another state. What do you want to buy? You want to buy Yeeworks? Yeah, that ain't happening, I'm afraid. Yeeworks is, is my... My big one. Uh, I'll sell to you. If you're in the state. No, you're not. You're not in the state either. Okay, no one is in the state apparently. Why is it that... I've only been between two states. And I and I feel like most of the people that I'm trying to interact with are in the exact opposite state from the one that I'm in at any given time. Right. No idea. No idea why that's working. Anyway, let's, let's implement the... Let's implement the strategy. So let's go to Astroyo, and what we're going to do is we're going to issue shares, and he is of course going to vote against it because he's not got enough money to pay for it. I'm going to issue as many shares as I possibly can. Share price, yep, share price the same. So we'll issue the shares, and I will buy, I will buy all of the shares. So he will spend 1.5 million doing that as well. So I'm going to spend 11 million. That's fine. So basically, what happens is that he ends up spending a bunch of money. Unfortunately, I don't think it's enough to make his net worth decrease. I say that. It does mean that he now has a lot less cash on hand, which means the next time we go for a share issuance, he will, he will own less of it. So it was a little bit confusing, but... Uh, but let me see the next time that I can that I can share issue. February. February of Ignore. Whatever. February of uh, of 86. That is the time where we're going to enact the grand plan. Kicking somebody out of the company. Gnomeworth, you want to buy Gnomeworth? Absolutely. Gnomeworth is a dud. Gnomeworth is an absolute dud, still not making me any money. Wait, hold on. Is it actually making me money? Is you're not you're not serious. <gasps> How? It's just this quarter. What's happened to logistics costs? What happened what what happened to the income? What happened to the expenses? Where did they all go? Where did all the expenses go? I don't understand. I should be participating in more auctions. I just can't be bothered. Where did where did they all go? What happened? 
I frankly cannot believe that we are actually making money. That's ludicrous. That is absolutely ludicrous. Gnomeworks has turned into a profitable enterprise. Wowzers. Well, that's great. That's fantastic. 139 million cash in hand. Don't mind if I diddly do. February is uh, February is the time for action. So, I have at my moment at, at the present moment 139 million cash on hand. As you know, it's a heck of a lot of money. Now, my competitor in in As in Asdroyu, who I want to kick out. How much cash has he got? Uh, don't care. Don't care. So he has 887k cash on hand at the moment. So. Without further ado, folks, let us, let us, let us kick a chap out of our company. And let's do it with style. Right, so, share issues. He's, of course, going to vote against it. Issue size, yep, fantastic. I'm going to buy all of the shares that I possibly can, you see that? You see that? So he's not going to be able to buy any shares. He's going to spend 610 thousand dollars. I'm going to spend a little bit more and I get to do this because I already own shares in the company. And so just like that, I end up with uh, with a tiny little bit more, a tiny little bit more of the company. Now, it does look, although I'm sort of throwing money down the drain. However, however, the good news is that all of this money is going right into the coffers of the company. So I am basically transferring my money directly to the company. Uh, like this, and also increasing my share in the company, which means that I will be able to hold a vote on the company expansion. Fantastic. I will, of course, vote to increase the size of the company. I will also vote to not repay a loan. What am I talking about? I don't want to repay any loans ever. I want to take out some loans. That's right, a $55 million loan, which I should have... I should have done before expanding the company. That was my bad. A little bit of an administrative, uh, a little bit of an administrative mess up there. But that doesn't particularly matter. I'm not, I'm not the chief administrator. I'm just the boss. That's right. The point is, is that I need to, I need to increase the size of the workforce, which I absolutely can do. It's just going to take me a little while to do. Right. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to do this right now right at this very second. We need to do one more final share issuance as well in order to absolutely clean them out. And then I can pump the dividends up to max. Oh, goodness gracious me. What would be so wrong with a slider? What would be so wrong? Oh, the game crashed. The game crashed. I knew it would happen. It, it was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. Well, um, I I think, ladies and gents, we'll uh, we'll pick that up in the next episode. I'm gonna swap on over to the uh, to the last little slide of this video right over right over here, and uh, and take this opportunity to thank my fantastic patrons. Uh, there is no video in that little box down there because the game crashed. The game crashed. It's 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 it was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. The numbers were too big. We were getting too out of control. Uh, tune in for the next episode of Plutocracy, ladies and gents. We are far from done with this game, and uh, each and every time that it's updated. It becomes just a little bit more stable, a little bit better. A, a few more bugs are fixed. Yeah. Hopefully you'll tune in next time to see what the heck happens next. I'll see you then. Bye.